Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. Today's Thursday, the 16th of March, 2023. I'm here with my friends, Freddy the Teddy, Rufus the Dog, and back over there, Patrick the Bear. <laughs> anyway, this is your card of the day. So I'm again uh, using Kyle Gray's Angel, the Angel Guide Oracle uh, with the images by uh, Jennifer Hawkeyard. So let's get right to it. Um, Angel, Archangels Uriel, Haniel, Jeremiah, Gabriel and Raziel, beings of all four corners, ascended ones, thank you for giving me the perfect words of wisdom through these oracles so that the words enlighten, they inspire and they heal all those who wish to listen. So it is, and so shall it be. All right. Uh, let's see. This one looks like it wants to come say hey today. Ooh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. This is a nice one. Signs and reminders. You know, there seems to be a theme with these cards this week. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of butterflies. While it might seem like you are having, might be some cloudy days here. Look, you've got the North Star right above you. And you have a crescent moon, looks like a new moon. So you know that Haniel's with you. And you've got the light of God, Archangel Uriel, with you. And then, of course, right down through the middle, we see this white feather. Feathers have been known to be signs from angels. They're found in the most unusual of places. And it looks like right down here, we have the earth. This looks like Mother Earth. And above her sky are these birds bringing messages from all kinds of ways into or up to basically heaven. There is a aura, rainbow aura, right above the earth. That reminds me of Archangel Raziel. Uh, and of course, the butterflies signifying that the chrysalis, the cocoon that we have been placing ourselves in for quite a while has now or is now ready to open. I believe that all of us need to be reminded that there are signs everywhere. Um, and today's the day, the 16th of uh, March to be present to what signs you might be receiving, not necessarily looking for. That's, of course, possible. But, you know, when we go looking for signs, when we go looking for things that we believe we want to see, we'd like to see, and they're not there, it, it becomes disappointing. So, you can expect, like yesterday, the miracles, and you can expect to see signs and reminders. But what you're looking for are the signs and reminders that let you know that your guides and that your angels have never left you. Um, the angels send uh, signs all the time because often we're not in a space where we can fully listen to their guidance, fully listen to what they're saying to us internally. So these signs come in the way of poems, songs, the line of a song, a song even playing in our head that we're not actually physically listening to at the moment. I would say today's energy also is saying just slow down a little bit. Just get quiet enough. Turn off your distractions. The distractions are what the ego wants you to do, it wants you to get into your to-do list or your honeydew list, or this list of, oh my goodness, oh my God, oh my God, oh, and you go off in many different directions mentally with your thoughts. And it's okay, because at times we have to prioritize what we've got to do in life. So know that you're worthy of these signs. And when you receive a sign, there's an important step that you've got to take in order to usher in more miracles into your life. So call in help. A sign is a message that helps available. So welcome it in with an open heart. You might be seeing the same number patterns or sequences in numbers. Uh, like I said the other day, finding feathers. 
seeing the same birds at special times, or even feeling that you're being visited by loved ones or angels in dreams, or at some point in your day. These are all messages of support. You're always on the right path. Know that. And when you're being guided to and when you're being guided to know that you walk in the, you're not walking in this path alone. The angels, the archangels are always, always, always working walking and working beside you. I like to look at it like um the archangels, if you're familiar with them, or saints, they could be anything, as being kind of like your board of director. Your 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 mm, the ones that you sit at your table that you need to help. And you know, they're happy to switch roles. It's not like angels have this ego where they've got to be the president or the vice president or the treasurer or the person who keeps the meetings. No, the archangels say, listen, we're here. We want to help you do what you need to do. And if you're not really sure who or what archangel to use, there are a bunch of resources you know, the four ones that most people turn to, Archangel Michael, can't go wrong, protection, love, um, Archangel Raphael for healing, for bringing what you need, um, Archangel Uriel and Archangel Gabriel, light of God, you know, the words of God, all of those things. But look them up seek them out even your own guardian angels which are usually more important seek them at your table call upon their help give thanks that there's no limit to the way they assist you no limit they love to do it because they love you they love us they love all of us on earth that are doing something to better mankind and move through the chaos uh, i've told a story that last christmas I wasn't sure which archangel was with me. I think it was Ariel I was calling on. So I said, show me a sign in the way of a peacock that this is actually you, that I'm actually in the presence of Ariel. Not more than an hour or two later, I walked into a big box store. It was a home improvement store. All their Christmas display decorations were out. Right there on the display table was a ornament, outside ornament, illuminated with all kinds of bright colours and it was in the form of a peacock. Well, how would you ever find a Christmas decoration in a home improvement store that looks like a peacock? So there, right there, was my sign that this is who it was. There have been other signs I've gotten on my desk. They seem a bit de 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 grab. There are these two feathers. At one point or another, I was walking somewhere out of nowhere. I'm seeing these two feathers. It wasn't in the woods. It wasn't in the forest. I can't even remember. I think one was a parking lot of a building. And here's this feather. And the other one quite deliberately was in my driveway. So it's possible, yes. Hawks or whatever bird they came from, drop them to let me know. And I kept them just as a reminder. Um, ringing in the ears sometimes. It's not tinnitus. It could be. But it's a sign that angels are talking to you or spirits are talking to you. When you get a smell, a fragrance that you're not familiar with in a place that it would not be possible for you to smell that. There's an angel, a flower, even a fairy around. All of these beings, all of these entities, all of these spiritual energies are around us all the time. We just have to look for the signs. When we get the signs, recognize it. Oh, thank you. I talked the other day about heads up coins on the floor. Somebody I love and care about who's a friend of mine made a comment. You can go underneath and read it yesterday's video said when she sees a penny that is ha tails up, she turns it over for heads up, leaves it where it was. So the next person that finds it gets the heads up. I thought that was just delightful. Not that there was anything wrong with a tails up coin. It is just that, oh, 
let me put it heads up so the next person gets a blessing. These are little signs all the way that we get all the time. I'd say particularly at times when we feel like no one's listening, no one's watching. More importantly, when we decide that nobody cares, we go into those funky moments. Those are the times it's more important to pull around your army of spiritual beings that help you lift up your vibration. All right, my friends, I got a special announcement that I'll be making later on about tomorrow, the afternoon of readings for St. Patrick's Day, how you get it, how you do it, how you get on with it. Uh, but I'll leave that for a second video. All right. Lots of love until tomorrow. Bye.